Hey guys, it's Cece, and today I have a very large book haul to share with you. So December was a month of not buying that many books, but I did acquire a lot of new books. Specifically, I acquired a whole ton of 2019 releases, which is most of what I'm going to be talking about today. You are going to hear about some of these 2019 releases in a variety of anticipated releases videos that will be coming out in the month of January, but some of them you won't be hearing about in other videos, so stay tuned to hear me talk about 2019 releases I might not be talking about elsewhere. Also, if you read the title, you know that there's a giveaway in this video, so I'm gonna be talking about that too if you want to be part of a bookish giveaway. Yeah, lots of stuff to cover, so many books, we're going to start talking about them now, and let's talk about the giveaway stuff first and then get into everything else. The first books I'm going to be talking about are the Artemis Fowl books. I have books three through eight here. I am partnering with Disney Book Group for this video so that I can talk about these books and also give away a full set of the Artemis Fowl series, basically to celebrate the upcoming release of the Artemis Fowl movie, which I am high-key dying over. I can't believe we're finally getting an Artemis Fowl movie. They have released redesigned covers of the entire Artemis Fowl series. I talked about the first two books in a different book haul that I did, and now I'm gonna quickly go over these ones. We have Artemis Fowl, The Eternity Code, Artemis Fowl, The Opal Incident, Artemis Fowl, The Lost Colony, Artemis Fowl, The Time Paradox, Artemis Fowl, The Atlantis Complex, and the final book in the series, Artemis Fowl, The Last Guardian, which is book eight. These are all by Owen Colfer and all follow a teenage genius named Artemis Fowl. Basically, he's kind of bored by everything, so he decides to become a criminal master mastermind. And in the first book in the series, he sets out to find his father who has disappeared, and he sets out to do this by, um, he wants to try to capture a fairy. All of these also include a special little sneak peek into the Foul Twins, which is the new series, following some relatives of Artemis. But the point is, this is the full series, and Disney Book Group is giving away a full completed set of all eight. So there you go, that's all eight of them. That is what you will receive as well as a variety of other goodies. So there's an Artemis Fowl backpack, a hat, a fidget spinner, some chocolates, basically all of that stuff. If you go ahead and go down into the description, there is a list of all of the rules and requirements. The giveaway is being hosted on Rafflecopter, but I have to say that the winner must have an address in the United States. So yeah, if you want your own set of Artemis Fowl, so you can reread the whole series before the movie comes out, this is an optimal time. Thanks so much to Disney Book Group for letting me host this giveaway. And yeah, that's basically it. All info will be below. And now we're going to talk about all of the other books that I received in December. So I have exactly one book that I purchased, and I'm going to talk about that one. And that is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Little piece of info, I literally know nothing about this book. Like, for all of the hype that I've heard about it, for all of the people I've heard summarize it, I, I could not tell you what this book is about but it receives incredibly high reviews. It is YA fantasy that comes the most highly recommended. I picked up this book um, on my last day of having access to my employee discount at Target because I stopped working at Target in December. So on my last day, went on a Target spree and bought a bunch of stuff with my discount. This was the only book that I purchased, but I wanted to read it for the longest time just because of all the hype and because it looks beautiful. It's a big chunky fantasy that has a second book coming out in 2019. So I got it. I also have two books that aren't 2019 releases, so I'm going to talk about these and then get into all of the packages that are sitting down here. So the first of these books is Beneath the Citadel by Destiny Soraya. This came in a unplugged book box that I opened in December. This is set in a world where people are ruled by prophecy, but the main character wants a chance to fight against the High Council, so she gets together this group of people. Honestly, I don't know a ton about this book either, besides the fact that it's YA fantasy and is about prophecies. The only other thing that I know is that it features a bi boy and a fat ace girl, and that is enough for me. And the other 2018 release I want to talk about is The Girls in the Picture by Mel. Melanie Benjamin. This was sent to me by Penguin Random House, and I agreed to read and review this book because it is about, like, the golden age of Hollywood, basically, which is my thing apparently now. It starts in 1914, and it is about the close friendship and fascinating creative partnership between two of Hollywood's earliest female legends, screenwriter Frances Marion and superstar Mary Pickford. So, it's just about women at the beginning of the movie industry, at the golden age of Hollywood, and I'm into that in every way. So, I agreed to read this book 
very excited about it. And now it's time to talk about all of these. Oh no, see these keep falling down. All month long they've been falling. So first I have two books from Macmillan, the first of which is Small Town Hearts. This is by Lily Vale. So this comes out in March of this year and it is about a girl named Babe Vogel who is just sort of living her summery life in a small main town and she is a barista. She is trying to avoid her ex-girlfriend and then she starts falling for this new artist guy who starts coming to the coffee shop. So, by girl lead, summer romance, all of the cuteness. I have been obsessed with this cover forever, so. <laughs> I sent Macmillan a fairly desperate email asking for this, and even more desperately asking for this other book, Tell Me How You Really Feel by Amina May Safi, which I... I would die for this cover. It's the most beautiful cover ever created by, you know, anybody. So this is set in LA in the springtime and it is an enemies to lovers queer girl romance. <sighs> yes. And I just want to talk forever about the fact that there are two queer women of color on the cover of this book that are clearly going to be involved in a romantic relationship and how huge a step that is for covers and everything and all the wonderful things. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed and I'm reading it um, this month, so. Get ready. Okay, next I have two books from Scholastic, both of which are also queer releases. So we have The Music of What Happens. This is by Bill Konigsberg. So this is set in the 1980s and it's about boys. It is about masculinity. It's about these two boys, one of whom is comfortably gay, the other of whom is not, and coming to terms with how they feel about each other, coming to terms with their relationships, and just like all the good things. I didn't love the first book I read by Bill Konigsberg, Openly Straight, but I have been dying to read this book, especially because historical fiction about queer peeps is... There's a lot of it in 2019 and that makes me really happy. The other book I have from Scholastic is The Love and Lies of Roxana Ali by Sabina Khan. Um, mm. so this is about a lesbian Muslim girl, and she's trying to live up to her super conservative parents' expectations of her, but one day they find her kissing her girlfriend, which is a no-no. So they whisk her off to Bangladesh and throw her into a world of arranged marriage and all of this kind of stuff. So, um, queer Muslim girl. I have been excited about this book since it was very first announced, and when my lovely friend Kaylee was like, hey, do you want Scholastic books for 2019? I was like, ha, this. Yes. Wait, sorry, being a bad reviewer. Uh, Tell Me How You Really Feel comes out in June. Uh, the Music of What Happens comes out at the end of January, and The Love and Lies of Roxana Ali has already been released. It came out on January 1st. Yeah. There. I have a couple of books here that were sent to me by a literary agent, Eric Smith. Um, he was tweeting in December, like, if people had uh, 2019 releases that were on their list of two reads, just to tweet him, and he would maybe send you a couple. Um, specifically, I requested these two, and these are the two he sent. Very excited. So the first book that Eric Smith sent me is The Weight of the Stars by Kay Ancrum, which is about queer girls in, like, sci-fi so into it. So this is about a girl named Ryan who has dreams of traveling across the stars but that life is not in the cards for her since she comes from the wrong side of town and then she meets this girl, this super angry girl named Alexandria. Alexandria's mother is an astronaut who was set out on a one-way trip to Mars? Oh, to the edge of the solar system. So initially, Alexandria is very against becoming friends with Ryan but circumstances lead them to becoming friends, maybe more, all the things. Um, look at this cover. Look at it. Look at it. Do you see it? Do you see the cover? Very thrilled. And this comes out in March of this year. The other book that he sent me is The Wise and the Wicked by Rebecca Potos. This comes out in May and it is about a witchy family and it's about queer girls. That's kind of what I'm told. Basically, it is about this magical family and the women in this main character's life have always possessed magical abilities, but they used to be far more magical until they were run out of Russia by men who feared them. There's a line on the back that I'm in love with that says, such has it always been, Ruby's been told, for powerful women. Basically, the only magic that the people in Ruby's family have left is that when they come of age they will see a vision of who they will be when they die until 
her aunt dies and the way that she dies doesn't match her vision. It's all good things. It's all good things. I'm very excited. Next, I have four books from Tor.com specifically. So these are all novellas. They're all Tor.com novellas. So first we have Your Favorite Band Cannot Save You by Scott O'More. This comes out at the beginning of February and it is a novella about this band called Beautiful Remorse and they have been releasing this new music one song every day and a blogger decides to follow them to try to figure out the mystery behind this band, mostly because the music and the band itself seems to be having a very weird effect on its fans. So, cool. I also have Permafrost by Alistair Reynolds. This comes out March 19th. This is a book about time travel. It starts in 2080, and this group of scientists decides to send one person back in time to make tiny alterations to the past and hopefully prevent a global catastrophe that has kind of destroyed the Earth at this point. So post-apocalyptic time travel adventure. I also know that Alistair Reynolds has written a lot of other work that people really love, so I'm excited about this one. Then we have The Haunting of Tram Car 015 by P. Jelly Clark. This is set in like an alternate Cairo in 1912, and it is about two people. They are both agents for the Ministry of Alchemy, Enchantments, and Supernatural Entities, and they are supposed to set off and handle a haunted tram car, which should be routine, but it turns out to not be routine at all. Um, I want to read a ton of stuff by P. Jelly Clark, so this is just the first thing I'll be reading, and this comes out uh, February 12th. February 12th, 2019. And the last Tor.com book that I have is Miranda in Milan by Catherine Duckett. This is a, um, it's supposed to take place like after The Tempest, so it is a reimagining of the consequences of Shakespeare's The Tempest. It follows Miranda, um, and it is a female-female romance. So I read The Tempest in college, I love Shakespeare, I will read anything Shakespeare, but especially queer Shakespeare. Um, I'm very, very, very excited about this one, which comes out March 26th, 2019. That comes out like five days after my birthday. That feels like a sign. Truly. Three more books. First we have one from Simon & Schuster. This is Our Year of Maybe by Rachel Lynn Solomon, which I asked them to send along to me. So this sounds like some dramatic teenage lives, uh, queer lives specifically. So it is about two best friends, uh, Sophie and Peter. Peter has been on the kidney transplant list for a number of years, and Sophie knows that she would do anything for him. Uh, they are best friends. She secretly has a huge crush on him. So when she finds out that they are a match, the choice of donating a kidney to him seems really easy. So this book kind of follows their lives post-transplant, where Peter, he once had feelings for Sophie, but now he's really drawn to this guy, Chase who is a guitarist, and Sophie is feeling drawn to the more neglected parts of her life, and she's resenting Peter more and more for the way that he's distancing himself. They want to be best friends again, but things are kind of pushing them apart. All sounds wonderful. I'm really excited, and I'm assuming this is going to make me cry. Just a feeling. And the last two books I have are both from Sourcebooks, so thank you, thank you to lovely Sourcebooks. First we have You Asked for Perfect by Laura Silverman. So this is a romance. It's also about intense academic pressure. It follows Ariel Stone, and he is like the ideal student. He's a first chair violinist, he's valedictorian, but he's falling more and more behind, and when he fails a calculus quiz, he ends up trying to get a tutor named Amir. The two of them develop feelings for one another, and Ariel has to kind of decide if he is willing to add even more pressure to his life by starting a relationship. Um, Laura Silverman is well-loved on BookTube and Book Twitter specifically, so I'm excited for this one, especially because queer. And the final book that I have is A Place for Wolves by Kasoko Jackson. This is historical fiction that is getting comps to Aristotle and Dante and Codename Verity. It is also a queer romance. This is about two boys, both proudly gay. The main character is black, his love interest is Portuguese, and they are coming together to basically survive the Kosovo War. So it's like dramatic and gay and historical fiction, and this has been getting all the hype for the longest time, so I'm so pleased that Sourcebooks would send me this book. Um, that's, yeah. As you can see, I'm possibly drowning in 2019 books. So at this point, I literally don't even have a place to put all of the books that I want to read. I have completely run out on my TBR shelves, 
I'm just stacking books places now, which is a concern, but it's gonna be fine. Um, but that is it. Those are all of the books that I wanted to talk about that I acquired in December. I'm really excited about all of them. Are you anticipating any of these 2019 releases? Let me know down in the comments below and please be sure to go and check out that giveaway and get your own set of Artemis Fowl books. All of the different ways that you can enter will be listed in the giveaway specifically and all other information will be in the description. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!